everybody. So, unfortunately, yeah, well, good news, new phone. So we're on the 14 Pro Max, so let me know what the quality of this is like, what you guys think. Um, I'm not sure what settings are. I haven't changed them since I got it. I'm not using the cinematic mode. I don't know really how that's gonna look, but I have an interview today, but we got some unfortunate news. As you guys know, Grace doesn't run anymore, right? So here's the big problem. I don't have the money to fix her, but I'm running into this other crazy issue called repossession. So I am a little behind on payments, just, just, just a little, but we'll get it worked out. We've got a plan. We're gonna get that uh, caught up. And then as of right now, obviously I don't have money for a new engine cause I can't even hardly pay for my payments and I'm, good, I'm open about that, so who cares? Go ahead and roast me in the comments if you think, you, if you want to, I don't care. Um, but you know, that's fine. But we're gonna try something. I just drilled into one of the cats and it's all ash in the bottom. So we're gonna try and give it a start. We're gonna see how that does, hopefully not catch fire um, and see if I can maybe blow out one of the, blow out the rest of it and see if that'll help it run whatsoever. I don't think it's gonna help. But we're gonna try. If it does help, great. I'm also gonna try and cut both cats off and see what that does. That's probably a terrible idea. But I figure, hey, you know, if that makes it run, then I can buy headers. We'll spend however long we need to put headers in it. Maybe it'll run better. No guarantees, but I'm gonna set the phone down behind the car so you guys can kind of hear that. And I'm gonna let you guys see you. Tell me what you guys think and hopefully it'll work. Probably not though. Uh, let me hit the jump starter. Come on, Bears. Do me a favor. See if there's a fire. You guys probably saw it long before I did, if there is one. Hopefully not. Let's uh, take a look. Uh, so we're definitely smoking up here. But that's probably, I don't know if you guys will even be able to see the smoke. But that is probably because, well, you know. Yeah, that, that is burnt cat. Whew, man. Um, doesn't look like there's a fire down there. Give you guys a quick look. I bet you guys can't see. But, uh, yeah, so it's not smoking anymore, so that should be good. Um, I'm going to lift the car back up. We're going to take a look, see what we did. Uh, <coughs> damn. Man, that made me choke on that. Um, yeah, battery is long gone again. So we need a new battery. That's been made very apparent. Um, as you guys noticed, no exhaust is on it. I sold that because it was full of oil. Um, we're gonna try and fix it to some extent. Let me set this down just a second, guys. Set it down right there for you. Try to move a couple things out of my engine bay and see. Yeah, so give me a second, guys, here. <laughs>
Well, everyone, let's go check the damage under. Oh, well, there's one thing. Blew off one of my um, clamps. And now we're gonna come under here. Maybe we shouldn't stand right there. Actually, we're gonna come on this side. Um, so a little quick thing. We do have an O2 sensor out. And then right there, you can see the two little holes I drilled and that didn't seem to do shit. Pardon my French there, sorry guys. Um, we'll try and bleep that out. Cause we're gonna be doing a lot of editing. Um, obviously we're leaking like crazy on oil. In order to actually get the headers out, I have to move, remove the steering column, disconnect it on this side. Not in the mood to do that. I got, the engine mount doesn't need to be moved this side, but I'd have to push the engine up some here and the trans remove somewhere over here we'll see it there's an alternator i think not old starter starter not alternator correction starter right there and then we have to prop the engine mount up and disconnect it and put get everything pushed up some so that's a real pain um because you're supposed to just take this whole side off and when i get it on in frame you're supposed to just take it off from here all the way back but all the way back there from there all the way back and then but i got this bolt off and then realized i can't reach the other one in behind i don't have any tools that will do that so i haven't been under my car in a long time um we're doing everything we can uh if i have to i may just do the full engine myself um Definitely don't know how comfortable I feel doing that, but you know, it'll take me a little bit, but worst case, I get some people who know what they're doing and we do a new engine, oh well, um, over time, um, rather than paying someone else to do it, but the engine will cost more. So, with that in mind, I just found where I'm missing the bolts right on that guy. Um, but yeah, let's give it a shot. We're gonna try and cut, cut off our cats just because I want to try to clear them out so it looks like it's catted and it really isn't. So I will see you guys after we get them cut out. It's something. I'm going to try and restart it. We're going to take a look underneath. I'm going to re-hit it, but in case you got all that powder down there, everything, that's all coming out of the cat. That one. I think that one already hollowed itself, but this one, just by sound, so we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. So let's do it. I'm gonna try to get underneath for you guys so you guys can see it. That just drained the battery from my charger. So let's see what happens. time but that's what was remaining left in the cat little hint here it's a little warm that's what the inner part of a cat looks like and there's what happens when you burn and melt it and don't do the right thing so when you screw up that's what happens but now it's pretty much hollowed out not that you can see i'll get a light in there later Actually, I'll do it right now, but you guys can kind of see inside there. 
There's a little bit of dust still. Well, let's get a light on the subject. Now you guys can kind of see. I got a little bit more lighting in there. It's so dark in there. It's pretty much completely hollowed out, though. Uh, we, it is other than a little bit back there, but yeah. So there you guys go. guys welcome back so this is just an extension to make this video a little longer um here i'm trying out a little bit of something so i'll kind of show you guys what we've got so far and guess what you see if you can guess so we've got the good old engine cover a bunch of cardboard a couple things taped off uh we got some yellow neon fluorescent spray paint some fluorescent pink even though that looked orange as all get out but this one's the orange one. And then we got green. And then we got this cool glow in the dark idea to go with it. We got black. We've got some gloss enamel for it. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So uh, we got it all taped up. And now we're gonna start spraying and I'll show you guys it and just- Alrighty guys, it's looking pretty good. I hope you guys think it looks good so far. We're not done yet, but this looks pretty sick actually. At first I was kind of skeptical it wasn't turning out, but there you guys go. Um, so we'll see how it turns out here in just a minute, but um, we got a couple more layers. I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then I'll get back at it. Alrighty everyone, we are almost ready to wash this off. I am gonna let it dry because I don't know that the paint will stick if it's not dry. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. I really wanna show you guys. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. This looks so sick so far. Like, look at how cool that engine cover looks. I know it's a little hard to see on camera, but that looks so freaking cool. I'm, I, I'm excited to see how this goes. I think it's got to dry. I, I've got to check because I don't know. So I'll be back in a minute, guys, once I check. And if not, it, either way, I'll show you guys as soon as I rinse it off. Well, here is the near final result. This is how it's going to look. Um, Actually, surprisingly, I didn't think I'd like it because I had to redo it. And you can see it looks really rough. But I actually kind of like the way that looks on here. Um, We're going to go take it and clear coat it now not in the house this time so i'll have a little bit more to say on that here in a couple of seconds um that's not sticking right it's very weird how this is done um but you guys get to see i should probably do it on cardboard just a second guys get set down But yeah, I like how that actually turned out. I originally do like my original look first, but we're gonna get it clear coated and then I'll show you guys the finished result. Um, but this actually looks really cool. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. y'all. So we just got it clear coated now. So you can see it's got a lot more of a gloss to it. Um, I'll show you it in the sun. And then once it's all dried, I'll get it put on the car so you guys can see it. But this actually turned out really cool. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll see you guys once it's dry. So I know I said I'd see you guys once it's dry. But just a little word of advice. See, I'm doing it no mask at all. If you're going to do it indoors, I've got the garage door open for ventilation. But if you are ever thinking of doing that, definitely wear a mask. Um, for record... I did it inside my room, right up there. And well, we're just gonna go with, here, let me move some stuff. 
I'm gonna sit in the car while I let it dry. <laughs> but let's just go with it didn't end up very pretty. So uh, long story short with that is I still have a very like, my chest feels really tight and it's very acidic feeling. Um, I basically accidentally got myself very high because I didn't use proper, you know, technique for spray painting. I did it in my room, didn't have any ventilation going, just in closed house. Everything was closed, no windows open, nothing. So word of advice, don't do it in your house. Do it in a garage, do it outside. And even in those scenarios, still wear a mask uh, made for painting, not just any mask or COVID mask probably will not work. I'm not gonna say it won't help some, but it will probably not work properly. I'm still feeling some side effects from that. So fair warning, um, make sure you guys do not do it inside the house. Or if you do, make sure there's plenty of ventilation and you're wearing a mask. Just take all the proper procedures, um, but I'll show you guys it. As soon as it's done, it'll be done here in just a little bit.